What up, sweet peeps? It's your girl Rochelle back with part two of the paint can candy apples. Um, we're gonna get right into the video. So, as you see, I've already completed the orange apple that stopped in the last video. Um, showing you how I applied the chocolate over um, the top. Here I have two candy apples with the edible image on them and the open part of the supposedly paint can. Okay, what I'm going to do in this video is finish where we left off as adding the other colors to these last two candy apples and also adding the paint can handle okay and that is the black fondant and please remember to subscribe to the best channel on YouTube that's up and coming your girl Rochelle at your sweet connection subscribe like this video give it some thumbs up comment in the so comment section below on your next apple tutorial that you may want to see me do i have so much to um bring to you guys you just don't even imagine and it's more than just candy apples i'm just giving you life on these candy apples okay and i'm coming in my own way and how i create um, a lot of different things um, that I learned as well. So, let's get into the video. And I'm going to get started with doing the uh, paint handles. So, I'm going to take the black fondant. And I'm going to roll out. After I move these apples back. And I'm just going to roll right in the palm of my hand and also I stated in the last video you might want to wear gloves okay um, so that your hands won't get so sticky I'm just being, being extra careful as well as watching what I'm doing while I'm doing um, these apples so what I'm doing is just firmly gently pressing and rolling out um, the handles and as you press and roll I'm trying to get it as thin as possible and enough to go from each side of the candy apple so I'm going to take my sculpting knife and just measure out and cut take this apple here and just gently, firmly press on the side. Uh-oh, and that one is a little short, but we're going to work with that. Okay, right now I'm just firming it out. Now, be creative. Your, can your handles can be silver. I'm just putting on black at this time. And because I'm standing in a different position, I'm trying to firm out evenly the handle. Okay? So now what I'm going to do is take the candy melts put it in the microwave for 30 seconds so it can go over the top of this paint can candy apple so while we waiting on that I'm gonna move this over to the side and begin to do these handles And remember, just roll out. And if you want to lay it, start from the center and work your way out. 
to stretch out your fondant. This is Black Fondant by Fat Daddios. And remember, if you check out part one, um, I put in the description below of everything that I have in the video. And once again, I am stretching out the black fondant for the can at handle. Long enough that it reaches from side to side, okay? I'm going to cut here because I think that about did it. Press here. Bring it around. Got to be gentle. And we'll catch it before I lay on there. And I'm just eyeballing this to see. Measuring the sides. Just give it a little press on the sides. Okay. And I'm just taking the bottom of my sculpting knife just to form it up a little bit to round it off. Okay. Let's check on our chocolate and we're gonna melt it another 30 seconds because it didn't melt don't forget to subscribe to your sweet connection let's get connected people I have more in store for you. When reheating the chocolate, make sure you watch it and you want to do it in 30 seconds, 30 second intervals. And I don't want to melt it all the way. I don't want my chocolate too runny, is what I'm saying. Because I want it to just run over just a little bit. As if you're opening the pop, the paint can, I'm finna say pop can, the paint can, and it's just running over just a little bit. So what I'm going to do is just add to the top here. Now you can use a spoon, you don't have to do it this way. You can do a bottle, which a bottle would be much better. Cause then you're squeezing it out. But since I already started and because that then started in the front to drip, I'm gonna go ahead And give a drip there. And just add them a little more. And you may be wondering how many candy melts. It don't matter as long as it's a small.